Apparently, um, Achilles was behind me and, and smacked me. Was it this guy? I'm running. Yeah, go get him. Go get him. I did not train. I'm, I'm gonna cut this tree down. <laughs> there we go. I have. I got you, Max. I've been avenged. <laughs> Welcome back to the cruise small tribes server and we continue so when we left off I just put down this little shit shack and we managed to tame some essentials we got some gathering dinos and some argents and I was going to set up here on this little plateau it featured in my guide to the best locations on Ark Survival Evolved however that no longer applies and that reminds me Annie Asgard I forgot to say I've named you after the Argent line. So today my plan is still to be build a Eastern style temple, but we're going to shift on. So when I originally scouted for a location to build, I, I thought about this place that I passed at the Green Obelisk and it has had such a huge change that it really is viable of, as one of the top locations. And without cryopods and storage, storing dinos is going to be a problem. So I'm going to put some footage up of what it used to look like originally. There's a Nerva note and some ruins there, but the actual spot itself is pretty featureless. It's just a jagged rock that overlooks the swamp and the green obelisk. But now it really has been transformed and I think it's a potential for a great location. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to set up there. So the difference now in this location is, <laughs> well, it's plain to see. Like I say, we've got this whole another layer and there's all sorts of ruins and things scattered across here. So this second layer down is where I think I might put the workshop and I'm going to try and work some sort of staircase into this. But this is a really, really cool spot down below and if we just work our way down here you can see all of these ruins and all it's going to take is a dinosaur gateway at the end here and I'm hoping I can kind of fit a mammoth down there but we can just come straight out be in the swamp get all the wood we need there's a natural pathway here there's entrances to block off for more stashing spots. It's really, really going to be pretty good. So as you can see, I've just placed some foundations. I need a flat surface to do this build on. And it's largely going to be inspired by a build that Shazella did on Ragnarok a few years back. So I said I wanted to go for something Eastern. And uh, I'm using that as a guide. I really love what she did with the steps. So hopefully this works out. But I guess we're just going to do a speed build. And uh, I just wanted to bring you guys along to see the natural progress that I'm making.
Well, I'm not going to lie, that was a huge project and uh, I've painted all of this with uh, a brush, I'll have you know. <laughs> I didn't even use the uh, spray gun yet, but it's down. And uh, what I really like about the new building mechanics is you can add the textures afterwards. So I've turned pillars sideways and just put quarter walls in and that lick of paint really does change it. So now initially I didn't like the wooden fences, but painting them brown instead of the beach color really brings, I, I don't know, it just gives it another layer. So underneath, just in case you're wondering, this is what everything was sat on. And I guess I can use this as a breeding area. I could put a hatch just above to drop some dinos down if I wanted to. I haven't really decided what this build is gonna be for, other than the base location. Uh, just here, I'll eventually put some vaults down, but there's some doors just to drop stuff on. And like I say, the dinosaurs, dodix, everything can make its way up here. But I am planning on putting my workshop in a different place. Just here, there was enough room for a bed, but I could actually put a whole another level on here because this is three high and I could still fit dinos in down below. And just up here, well, I haven't done any fin internally but I can even go up through that ceiling make it feel a lot more open and uh, I'm thinking maybe that will be where the artifact room might might sit something like that but this is more of a I guess it's more of a showpiece but we have actually put some foundations down and uh, yeah I'm really happy with how it turned out and uh, oh great it's raining don't know if you noticed, but you can certainly see it with the stone, how the textures start to look wet. But yeah, I've kind of, even though it's taken me a few days to get this build together, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Using double door frames there, just to look like the supports. And uh, yeah, just utilizing the corners. All of it kind of slots in and at least I can fit dinos in there. So I think my plan is on the top, and uh, that'll be my next episode, I think we'll make a trip to the Hunter Cave, go and check that out, and uh, I want some green light coming off the top there. And like I say, down below here, I think the workshop's gonna work really well. Like I say, I kind of really fell in love with what I had going on on the uh, Santa map with dropping all of that stuff and having it open. And down here, well, <clears throat> just loads and loads of potentials. So a spot that was a nothing spot in Ark Survival Evolved, but it's definitely a top spot in Ark Survival Ascended. And I will eventually get round to making that guide, but I need to live with this. To be certain, I need to live with this for a little bit of time before I make that guide on the top locations. But I think this one really does have huge potential the obelisk right across the road there ah and i love the light that illuminates off the obelisk at night day or night this spot looks great and we've got everything on our doorstep but that's all for this one until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you